as you know, the uh, NFL has set up the workout on Saturday for Colin Kaepernick. Will you attend? And if not, will someone from the organization attend? Um, you know, like like all players, I mean, we, we're we on the waiver wire, you know, on a daily basis, and uh, we do our due diligence on, on all players. So, yeah, we'll have someone there. This has been a team that's given a lot of second, third chances, and obviously Colin's second chance would be for a different reason than others. Uh, if he is fit, if he looks good, is there a place for him on the Miami Dolphins? Um, I mean, it's hard to, you know, uh, I don't have a crystal ball. I mean, it's hard to say. Um, I mean, we like our quarterback situation right now. Um, you know, it's – it's. I mean, we're going to do our due diligence. I would say, you know, anytime we can add a good player, we, we try to do that. We want to do that. Um, but, you know, there's you know there's a lot of moving parts to that. So, um, you know, Chris and the personnel staff, they do a great job from that, that standpoint. Um, conversation we would have if that situation came up. But, you know, that's a conversation we have about not just one player, but, you know, We've, we've made a lot of transactions this year, so those, those conversations are had on a daily basis. So if we feel like uh, you know any player helps us win, um, then we would look into it. And one quick follow if I may. Um, he's obviously a polarizing person for a lot of reasons. Some of his comments about the Cuban regime didn't go very well here. Uh, would he, um, would it, the decision to have him on this team be purely football, or would, he, would there be other considerations? I, I mean, it's a lot of layers to that, that one. Um, to be quite honest, um, not really something I thought a lot about. Um, my focus is squarely on the Bills. Um, you know, I heard about this when you guys did, and, you know, I talked to Chris. We'll have somebody there, and I went right back to the Bills.